Hi everyone, <laughs> welcome back to Pagoda One. Um, today, I'm here with. I'll start with on my left this time. Yes, it's me first. Yes. Yeah. Chantal from South Africa. <laughs> what an honor. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd goes wild. And John from America. Yay! I'm Sam from England. What's up? Yeah. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> Lovely to be here. <laughs> Today, we thought that we would uh, talk about our favorite spots in Seoul because you are more than likely to stay here if you come as a tourist. I thought you meant like you're more, if you come as a tourist, you're just gonna live here. You're more and than that, likely to stay here. Well, that's what happens to I'm me. Like, oh, okay. Who knows? Wow. Who knows? Like, you'll, be, you'll be in Seoul at least for a couple days, I'm sure. At least. Mm. Who wants to start? I'll go first. Okay, okay, shut okay, I'm very excited about my place. It is called Iksando. Oh! <laughs> Gonna recommend there. Uh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> now you gotta think of a new one. Oh, okay. Honestly, though, I absolutely love the whole Old Giro part. It's the northern mm. part of Seoul and it's also an older part. I am a big fan of the whole Old Giro area. It's called Hip Giro nowadays. There's like uh, the, the older traditional buildings and they have converted a lot of it into restaurants and little, little pubs. Favorite. Yes. That's also my favorite. <laughs> And right next to it is um, what my favorite barbecue area, Korean barbecue area. Was it the area. Oh. You have to sit outside. Uh, that's part of the fun. You don't yeah. really sit inside. It's streets filled with Korean barbecue restaurants. Nice. And in, in better times, the streets are literally packed yeah. with people sitting and barbecuing outside. In the way back when. You know, the old <laughs> days. In the old days. <laughs> back in my I day. I hardly remember back those times. <laughs> It's a popular area. I would recommend if you don't like crowds, don't go on the weekends. Myself, oh. I've been there, like I'll eat first and then when the crowd starts, you know, emptying up a little in the, the yeah. Iksandong area, I go walk around it's in those streets. It's insane. so pretty and so nice. It's so nice, but yeah. like you said, avoid times. weekends. I've been to Iksandong on weekends yeah. and it's just mobbed. And then, yeah, explore Old Giro. There's a whole like industrial area and a little hidden gems there too. Industrial. And it's so cool walking around mm. there at night. A lot is closed, but the f it literally feels like a different era. You do it doesn't feel like you're in 2021. Ooh, or like 1980s or something? Really? Ooh, Even I older. Yeah. It's still very old. It's not commercialized yet. And there's, yes, yeah, the streets are very small and narrow, nice. dark. It's, Amazing. Small well, narrow like, dark. Too he's, he's selling this. I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the fun thing is. Right. <laughs> That's where. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Chantel. Came out really wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it came out exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> Take it as you will. <laughs> I meant most people do in the Innocently. Alley. Yeah. <laughs> So most of my places are actual like one place that's a food place. How about two short and one medium? Okay, be my one. Again. Again. <laughs> the two short ones are just places. One is uh, restaurants. Uh, restaurants. <laughs> the one is where I used to live is called Cafe 413 Project. It was right next to my house, so I went there when I had money. Even though it's right next to my house, you need money to go there. Apparently, you have to pay for things. These, these damn restaurants. <laughs> what and do they? it oh, has some of some of the best food you'll have. Wow. Like some of the best, like um, mm -hmm. fusion foods. Okay. The one I loved the most was gumbas. Whatever that is in English, gumbas is like it had like egg, and then you have like um, sausage. And then you have oil that you can dip bread in with some oh. shrimp. Oh, hello. And it's so... You want me with bread, dipping yeah. bread. <laughs> with hot, hot oil with like good garlic. You got me at restaurant. Oh, garlic bread, <laughs> another one. Yeah, got me at food. So there's some like good breakfast items there as well. So it's like a good brunch place. Nice, uh -huh. that sounds amazing. The second place is called Grain. And it's oh, actually in that. my favorite place, which is my third thing, which is Yeonnamdong. Oh, you're not young. It's hip and happening. Yeah, it, way mm. too hip and happening these mm, days. Super busy. Yeah. Way too busy. Mm. But literally, you get out of there, and it's a long street, and it has a lot of good stuff. But if you go into the deep, the dark, thin alleyways, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, deep, dark, the deep, dark places. down under, deep, dark down under, <laughs> the deep, dark down under, you will find. That's where the fun happens. Yeah, it's where the fun happens. <laughs> it has <laughs> some of the most, like, the coolest places you go to. Not just restaurants, but also. There's like some nice parlors, there's some nice bars, there's mm. some nice cafes, and it seems real chic and hip. It's so and nice walking around. It's in the super streets. nice walking around mm -hmm. too. And in those alleyways, 
there's a place called Grain, which has uh, the best brunch you That's will so have. Good. Pretty fresh ingredients, healthy as you want it to be, and you will not be disappointed with anything you eat. It's going to be on the pricier side, and it's small, so you might have to wait. Like, I've had to wait up to 45 minutes just to get up there. But while you're waiting, all you do is sign in with your phone. So you don't have to wait in line. You just sign in and you go walk around. And then they're like, beep, beep, your table's ready. And you go there back. So yeah, those are my places. You know, Numdong just for the, the whole area. The whole area. Just walk around, you'll find a good place. And then uh, Grain and Project 413 Cafe. Cafe Pro 413 Project. Boom. All right. <laughs> Have I given you enough time to think of yours? <laughs> yeah, but your was another one. No, sir. <laughs> well, you're just you taking the say, best you places. You just say your house. I like a, f a few places. And I want to say, maybe they're not my absolute favorite, mm -hmm. but they're, these are the places I visit consistently because I like them a lot. Mm -hmm. And that is Yoido, mm -hmm. which would be mm -hmm. like Yoido Station area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's it's more like kind of skyline area. It's the, it's yeah. the financial district. Mm -hmm. And it's really cool at night. Too. So nice at night. Yeah. If you want the real kind of city-esque mm. atmosphere mm. Mm -hmm. and they've got some nice rooftop restaurants yeah. and bars yeah, yeah it's really nice and it's nice having a picnic at that river park also yeah yeah, yeah. you can order you can chicken take a ferry yes yeah. order chicken there take so a ferry good. at sunset ferry and sometimes. what we mean by that is you literally can be on the han river right at the river Order some fried I've chicken and they'll deliver it to yeah, you. Yeah, they come to yeah. they, they have like a little pickup station that you yes. go to get get the chicken. But as we've talked about these very popular areas, it <gasps> gets absolutely yeah. mobbed. Yeah. yeah, like in spring, summertime. Good, Weekends good luck. Especially. Yeah, good luck finding a place to, mm. to sit. And the other place is Songsu. That's near another part of the river. That's kind of upcoming. But too. What, yeah. what's, what's there? I don't think I've ever it's been a there. Big cafe district. Yeah. Tons Next of restaurants. Next to the Seoul Forest. Um, yeah. Mm, there's like okay. small streets with so many good restaurants. Yeah. 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 There's some really nice, more like independent restaurants mm. and cafes in, in yeah. Songsu area. Variety, yeah. Yeah. And then once you're done having your nice cafe, cafe? Whatever. Well, yeah, you can have in cafe. English. Yeah, in, in cafe. In cafe. <laughs> Once you've been to the, the cafe, if you're <laughs> choosing, you can either go to a restaurant or you can go to the to the river again. I like rivers, basically. Or you yeah. can go to and areas near rivers. I, I want to just add something. Mm. Han River, literally, oh, you yeah, can go yeah, yeah. anywhere along the Han River, and so it's so nice. lovely. You know, the sunsets are oh. so pretty. The Han River can hit the sun, yeah. like you oh can, like the sun setting on the river yeah. almost sometimes. So it's like yeah, one of beautiful. my favorite places of Seoul, it's all along the Han. So you nice. can go anywhere, it's just amazing. So, so nice. Yeah. So yeah, I think that yeah. wraps it up, right? Yeah. yeah. I think we got some pretty good places. I mean, what, that'll keep you busy for like a month. Just those oh, places that'll keep you busy. And then you for can, six years. Yeah, you can go to <laughs> like... So far. <laughs> yeah, it's still keeping me occupied. Six, four, five? Five. Oh, I'm, God, I'm five. still busy six years yeah. later. So. <laughs> busy in those dark alleyways six years later. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's running them. <laughs> so that'll do it for our video today. Yeah. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and smash that like button. Oh, yeah. The, uh, yeah. Get the ding dong bell as well. That, the ding dong and share. Don't you guys love sharing stuff? Share. Like, I think when yeah. you share things, it's like Christmas every day. So you guys should be like Christmas and share this as a gift to your friends and family. Watch on What's Watch on <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, bye! <laughs>